Hello, guys. I always get all the subjects that I don't want to touch, and Lucky's like, you're going to deal with it. <laughs> so, um, as everybody's coming back, as Lord Freer and Freya are making themselves at home, as the old father's wandering around, it feels almost like an open house, and you can kind of feel the gods come and go and adjust things to their liking. I felt someone come home, and I was like, both overjoyed, and then I was like, oh. And it was Boulder, and as a Lokian, I'm like, aren't you a little lost, son? And, you know, at first he's doing the traditional Boulder act of, um, tiny and light and helpless. And Boulder was so good, nothing bad was ever said around him. And he's light and love and peace. And these kind of descriptions that make my stomach turn, I think. Yeah. And, and I thought, well, that's lovely. I'm glad you exist, but please go away. And it's just like, oh, I can't stand him. And he's doing this to the ninth level. And his daddy shows up and his daddy's like, if you upset my little boy, I'm going to break your legs. You understand? And I'm like, it's great. And... I'm trying to work with Boulder all day, and he's having immense fun with this. And I finally said, look, um, you have to tell me who you are. You really have to tell me, because we only have, like, one little track to go by, and we have another story where he's only semi-divine. And I said, we don't really have much to go by. even found, strangely, a vlog by a worshiper of Boulder. Only it was so cryptic, I thought they were writing in code. I'm like, what am I supposed to be getting? Is there like a special key I was supposed to send in for? And I said to Boulder, I said, please just tell me who you are. So he answered me with a green arrow video. And the weird thing is, I've always seen this guy with um, arrows. And I know it's not older because we're on good enough terms, but he's like, eh, not me. And, um, Boulder is his father's son. He's kind of roguish, and he's got a swagger. And once he drops the innocent butter wouldn't melt in his mouth, um, act, he's very frank, like his father. He was looking at me while I'm saying, but you're all innocent and light and everything. And he laughed, you know, and he says, I bet you think I'm a virgin, too. <laughs> I'm like, yep, you're your daddy's boy, all right. And he's very proud of it. And so he's got this very earthy energy. It's kind of like Freyr, and he's like, okay, we're not going to play this Confuse the Gods game. Freyr looks like Freyr, and Baldur's like, since you think we look so much alike, I'm taking a kind of Green Arrow aspect now. You can totally tell us apart now. <laughs> and it's not like he's going to go around full Green Arrow costume, but it's more like, here, this is what I look like, this is what he looks like, since you seem to be having trouble. Um, I get the idea he's fertility too, which is why I'm starting to confuse the two, and they both have a lot of the same aspects listed, depending on who you ask. They both have rain and sunlight and goodness and peace and gentleness but then like this fertility aspect and this war aspect so it's like i was getting a mite confused and they're like no there are two of us <laughs> and now i have boulder and i don't know how to feel about it other than he's staying and he's just being mr charming now because he he's definitely odin's son i can't unsee that someone said he was a son of odin and he acted like it too and i'm like oh crap because you know I love Thor, but Thor can out fuck you faster than Loki can. I don't think he can't. Thor gets a lot of knowledge out of the dumb old farmhand act he likes to put on. Golly gee, I'm just Thor and I got my hammer. Yeah, he will out fox you every time. So I told them, I've always called Loki the fox. Odin's the older fox, and now we have baby fox in the family. <laughs> It's it's something else. I I felt weird as a Lokian, you know, dealing with Boulder, because you know, obviously Loki gets the blame for everything. But whether that story happened or not, whether it's another version or whether whatever, whatever your beliefs are towards Ragnarok and all such, 
I get the idea that um, he holds no umbrage towards Loki, and Loki's very fond of his nephew, especially now that his nephew's not going around trying to be peace and light and everything and acting like he, I guess, actually acts. And I never wanted to make this video, I'm just watching my time while I'm cooking, I never wanted to make this video because I did not want Boulder devotees to be offended, and I'm like, I honestly don't ask for these gods to show up. Um, Boulder is making himself at home, but, you know, as a Lokian, I had misgivings, and Loki's like, who better to watch over him? And I think that's one thing, too, that totally drove out the Greek energy. They kind of had this separation of the living and the dead, and we have dead gods that routinely get up and walk around and ask you for a cup of tea and do all this other stuff. Kind of like somebody compared them that works with him, like working with Osiris. So it's kind of like that, like, yeah, he was dead and he went to the underworld, but he's very much alive. Osiris is very much alive. It's not like he's down there, you know, comatose. And the same thing with Boulder. It's not like he's... <laughs> yes, dear. I'm not sure if that came from Boulder or that came from Loki, but something about having a hell of a time and don't ask. Um, Yeah, those are the gods I have. Very respectful and worshipful worshipful worshipable gods yeah whatever okay i am tired and hungry i'll go eat i'll see you guys later bye bye